Hey everyone, people that here, and welcome to the uh, final episode for the story of Sly Cooper. I mean, Sly Three: Honor Among Thieves for Rumble Down Under. So let's go ahead and fly and uh, let's do Operation Moon Crash, which is surprisingly right there, really close to the base. But in the last episode, we tried to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth with a crocodile by beating it mice. But it didn't work out so well because the mask keeps running away. So now in this episode we are hopefully going to be destroying it once and for all. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention we got to destroy oil drums, get radioactive oil, and uh, had a lemonade drink. All the stuff in this like game. But anyway... Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hiya, Hoda. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I hope. Oh, you're glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close, and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, You'll need to run guards toward it, and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart. Okay, boss. How is he seeing through all this? Is it like a moon? Is he seeing through his moonstone? Man? How did I make touch? Well, anyway. Oh. 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 Dango, I need your body. Dango, Dango. What do you guys prefer? 
Dingo or Dango? That's what I want to know. There goes that. Behold! The moon spirit rises! Woo! Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. Uh-oh. We got a situation here, uh, fellas. Looks uh, like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, applying wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Oh. Yeah. Here I come, master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. Now, that's not nice. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Karma Larja here? Then we'll pry off the mask. Finally, the darts are starting to kick in. Or not. The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the bats oh. to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. Like she 
just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! Okay, not the point. It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we need a giant fighting robot. Right, Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. Watch out! Carmelita's troops are en route! Ah, you're in luck! Looks like each side of the mask is latched on with only one hook! Maybe if you hug off it, she'd swat you away! Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed.
Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member, and the team would never be the same. Alrighty. Um, I, this is a really short episode, so I guess I'll do the hazard room. Do a few little missions. Let's get those out of the way. Not missions, uh, control basics. Uh, let's do Sly's last one. Ah, uh, the photograph. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance <laughs> photographs to plan for a heist. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your monocucob with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. And the left analog stick to, uh, aims where you want to look, uh, and the right analog stick, stick lets you... Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Oh, bull crap. <laughs> there you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Oh, seriously? No, but you've shown some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Nice work. Ah, uh, Bentley. <laughs> can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that oh, yeah. crate over there. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. Let's see what you got. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucob. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Have you got a zoom fun? Nice. Now get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. <laughs> All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. Oh, yeah. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh, yeah. It's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? 
I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with a magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. Twenty. Okay, he served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. That chair of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small right, space. All right, Murray. Time to brush up on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To pick something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch! You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not game. looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy. Kid stuff. Let's see what you got. way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. Grab him while he's out. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. You may not have the agility <laughs> or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. Okay. I thought they glitched out on me again. Okay, Murray. The juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. That right? You got All it. Right. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. 
just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain! guys for the next story flight of fancy see you guys then